every power supervising curse is dying now in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Curses can affect three areas of a person's life. Number one, your head, which represents your glory and your destiny. Now, this is um, important. If you want to look at your life and you want to tell if, you're, if your life is operating under a curse or a blessing, you just look at what is going on in your life. Is your life moving upward or is at a standstill? Everything you try to do, it doesn't work. It doesn't matter. You could be the best whatever you are, but it doesn't work. And it could be that you're operating under a curse. Number two. Your hands, which represent your work or anything you touch. Now, yet again, if you want to look at your life and you want to see if your life is under a curse, you look at your hands, your work, whatever you do. Is it is it prospering or when you get money, you work and you work, you work, you work like an elephant and you eat like an ant. There is not enough, barely enough, insufficiency, lack. Everything you do, like I said again, everything you do, nothing works. Nothing works. And this could be because your life is under a curse. Number three, your legs, which represent your walk and establishment. Now, just think about it for a second. Your legs carry you from point A to point B. And if your legs give out, then, you know, you can't move. You'll be stagnant. You'll be stuck. Just think about your life being under a curse. If your life is under a curse with your legs, then there will be no movement. You will be stuck in a place 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, you're just in one place all the time. And your life is meant to move. Your life is meant to have progress. We're supposed to be like a river, always moving, always, always moving forward. When curses are formed, demons or spirit are assigned to make sure that that person labors under a closed heaven. Like when somebody curses your life, whatever they curse, say the person curses your destiny, then whatever you're supposed to have, you're not going to have it. So instead of you marrying Mr. Right, you're going to marry Mr. Wrong. Instead of you going to the job that you're supposed to go, you're going to end up in a job that is dead and that's not moving, that's not doing nothing. In the work of your hands. Your business, dead. Everything, dead. It's time to pray. Heavenly Father, God, we come before you right now, God. And we thank you, God, for delivering us from the curse of our head, which represents our glory and our destiny, God. Everyone that assigned stuff to to manipulate our brain, God, our thinking, our mental facilities, God. We curse every curse right now in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. We thank you, Lord God, for delivering us. He said, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law so that the blessing of Abraham might come upon us. We thank you, God, for redeeming us today, today, today from every curse, God, from every curse of our glory, God, from every curse of our lives, from every curse of our destiny. We thank you, God, for redeeming us today, today, today. We thank you, God. We thank you, Jesus. And we thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, God, for the redeeming us from the curse of our hands, which represent the work of our hands, God. We come against every curse in our hands, God. Everything that we do, God, nothing is working, God. We tried our hands at this. It doesn't work. We tried our hands at that. It doesn't work. Everything we tried our hands to do God it doesn't work God we come against it right now in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit oh Lord God you said it shall not stand it shall not prosper nor shall it come to pass Lord God we come against right now every demonic spirit that is assigned to stop us God to make sure God that our hands the work of our hands does not prosper God we say to every demonic spirit that is standing on our way God every strong man God that is assigned to stop us to block us and to hinder us we release the power of the blood of jesus of nazareth upon them right now in the name of jesus you you demon you strong man that is assigned to make sure to block us and to stop us hear you the word of the lord christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law from every curse christ has redeemed us from from the curse of our head 
Christ has redeemed us from the curse of our hands. Christ has redeemed us. Heavenly Father, God, we come before you right now, God. And we come against the curse of our legs, God, which represents our establishment. We come against every curse of our legs, God. We come against our lives being stagnant, God. Five years, ten years, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, forty. We come against the curse of non-achievement. We come against the curse of no progress, God. We're in the same place we were, God. And God, everybody's moving up and we're still the same place we were, God. Everybody's going forward, God. You said, blessed is a man and he shall be like a tree that's planted by the uh, rivers that bring forth his fruit in his season. Oh, Lord God. We come against the curse of our feet, God. We come against the curse of our walking, God. We come against the curse of not moving, God. You said, and he shall bring forth fruit. We come against fruitlessness, God, in Jesus' name, God. We come against it right now in Jesus' name. We come against every toiling, God. God, we come against us working like an elephant and eating like an end, God. We come against the labor of a closed heaven, God. Everything we do, God, nothing works, God. Nothing works, God. It starts, but it stops, God. We come against, the, we come against right now in Jesus' name, God. We come against the closed heaven, God. The closed heaven, you said in Revelation, you said, Behold, I have said before you an open door that no man can close. We speak open doors right now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Open doors, open doors, open doors, God. Oh, Lord, God, we confess our sins before you, God. As David said, against thee and thee only have I sinned and done wrong. Oh, Lord God, we ask you, God, for bring deliverance, God, from our glory. Bring deliverance to the work of our hands and bring deliverance to our establishment right now in Jesus' name. We come against the spirit of lack, insufficiency, barely enough and not enough, God. We come against, you said it is written in Deuteronomy 28, and to bless the work of your hands, God. We say we speak blessings to the work of our hands. We speak blessings to our destiny. We speak blessings to our establishment right now in Jesus' name. We thank you, God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing deliverance like only you can. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you, Holy Spirit of God. It is written, The Lord bless me and keep me. The Lord make his face to shine upon me and be gracious unto me. The Lord lift up his countenance upon me and give me peace. God is still on the throne and all is well. We bless you in the name of the Father. We bless you in the name of the Son. And we bless you in the name of the Holy Spirit. It is written in Galatians 3 verses 13. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. We thank you God for redeeming us right now. Amen.